Good morning. Last night, well, yesterday, as you see, we went to Mount Wellington and then pretty much from there, we decided to send it into a caravan park because it was just windy, raining, <laughs> not even worth it. You can't enjoy camping like that. Um, so we just called it a night, obviously, at the NRMA caravan park, Port Arthur. And this morning we've gotten up early to do some touristy stuff around Port Arthur before maybe heading up to the Bay of Fires later this afternoon. Again, overcast, rainy, pretty mucky, but Stewie, where have you taken me this morning? So I don't exactly know. <laughs> You're asleep. I was sleeping. We uh, oh. I don't think that's rain, I think that's the tree. Where are we? We are, oh, let's get that off. At uh, some convict built coal mines at Port Arthur. No, it's around the bend a bit. It's called Saltwater Creek or Saltwater River or something, a little town here. We look like but, trusty tourists. If anyone's here, it's great. Come when it's raining. Look. Yeah. It's a pretty cool little laugh. Not a soul here. The main settlement is what we are at. You can basically walk through to Plunkett Point, the main shaft, the air shaft. That's the coal mine. And then, but what we just walked through was all the township and where all the convicts were kept. Around, pretty much around here.
very cool. It's a bit wet. It's a bit wet. <laughs> Okay. Lovely sunny Tasmania. Yeah, we can't complain. We've had the best weather <laughs> until like today and yesterday. But you know what made of sugar? Turns out this vigilante jacket isn't waterproof as I thought. And turns out the bomb app is not as accurate as you thought either. Well, it's misty. <clears throat> Radars only show Did what's gone. Did he just say it's not misty? You shall not pass. <laughs> The sun has decided to show itself here at Port Arthur and poor Stewie's absolutely soaked. Turn around, show us your new wet, this is called the wet accessory. Wet bum. Oh, Stewie. Versace. That style. <laughs> yeah, and we're just in the old garden at the moment, which is the original garden, they say. Um, very beautiful, lots of wildlife around here. I love this. Nan, you know me. We love our gardens. We love our gardens looking pretty. I'm um, just making our way up to what looks like to be the church. No, this is a house. A house. Oh, that's right. There was a few free people that lived here at Port Arthur and they made it very A class for the 1800s, they say. Hold on, I just gotta fix my screen up. Um, so that's what we're going to look at now, just while the sun has decided to come out and greet us on this gorgeous day at Port Arthur. So we've just left Port Arthur and we thought we'd go for a quick little drive down to Stewart's Bay and it looks gorgeous. Yeah, the sun's coming out. The colours of the water are beautiful. Can't get high enough to actually see. We left Port Arthur and the sun was just coming out and it was beautiful and we've come up to where we are. I don't think the sun has, the cloud hasn't gone over the mountain. It's still a bit overcast up here, but it's not raining.
I don't know if anyone's noticed from Port Arthur to the Tasman Devil Kitchen, Kitchens, Devil's Kitchen. Stu's had a costume change. It yeah. rained. Rained, got wet, got a wet ass. Down in the undies. <laughs> so he. Yeah. So he had to do a costume change because he got wet. Very wet. He's made out of sugar to get wet Pearl, in the milk. Pearl's gonna be made in my bum. <laughs> with me guys check it out all right we're just walking out to the peninsula view now when it's overcast and cloudy. The water's beautiful, the colours are amazing. Travelling up north on the east coast a bit more. I uh, haven't really filmed much since the tessellate. Is that okay? Tessellated pavement. Yeah, tessellated pavement. Uh, we just stopped in at Spiky Bridge just out of Swansea, um, and it's been my not dream, but it's been on my to-do list to go see Wineglass Bay when we were here. I'll drop a photo in of what Wineglass Bay is supposed to look like on a nice day. But anyway, as all fiancés do, they do what they want for their future wives. And we're braving the weather. I don't know, it depends how long it is. If it's like a two hour thing, I don't know. If it's two hours, we're not doing it. If it's an hour, he'll do it. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna go see if we can see Wine Glass Bay. Okay. We'll go from there. Tasmania, but they love their stairs. New South Wales, you just drive to the top of the lookout. They make you earn it at this time. This one's Coles Bay Lookout. We have another 20 minutes to go before we get to Wineglass. And um, 
Shoes already cold that we're having a cabin tonight. It's very hot. Well, it's not even hot. It's just very humid. <laughs> Sweating like a pig, he says. I think it is up north on the east side of Tasmania and it's beautiful it's an awesome little town you got the oasis like RSL that's playing live music the bloody um, surf shop still open it's only nine o'clock at night we've just come down to the blowhole area to hopefully see if we can find some penguins I don't know how lucky we'll be but don't try anyway Apparently they come out at like sundown. I don't know where they come. I feel like they'd be over on the beach a bit more, but because there's no burrows here. No idea, we'll go have a look. <laughs> 